The slight third quarter earnings disappointment from Tencent Holdings, China's biggest internet company, is important even if you don't own Chinese internet stocks, even if you have no interest in Alibaba or Yahoo uh, and that IPO that's coming down the road, or, or even if you really are only care about Facebook and Google and LinkedIn and those, those companies. Here's the reason why, that the Chinese internet market is actually even more intensely competitive than the U.S. market. And the reason for the miss um, that, that Tencent reported um, earnings of uh, 3.8, 3.9 for all intents and purposes, uh, billion yuan instead of the 4 billion yuan that analysts were looking for. So we're not talking about a big miss. That, the reason for that miss was spending to keep up with competitors, to gain market share, to defend themselves against Alibaba. Uh, if you look at that and think about the fact that, that Tencent has got and Alibaba have both have global ambitions. This really says something about the whole internet space as we're going forward. Okay, so basically Tencent used to be uh, a online game company and uh, a instant messaging company. They had the QQQ service, uh, which is, is it only two Qs? Two Qs. QQ instant messaging service, the biggest instant messaging with about a billion um, clients, uh, customer accounts. Uh, so that's, that's their roots. Uh, they've si since added a more upscale instant messaging service called WeChat, and that's the product that the company is trying to take uh, outside of China. It has a chance to be really the first big internet uh, application that, doesn't, that, that is exported from China to the rest of the world. So you can see tremendous amounts of growth. Well, of course, Tencent Holdings is trying to, to hold off Alibaba and other companies. So everybody's out there acquiring other companies. Um, they're spending on endorsements. Um, it's very interesting that Tencent's biggest endorsement hire, if you will, uh, during the last year is not someone from China, but is Lionel Messi, the uh, stock soccer player from uh, the Barso Barcelona team. Uh, huge, huge European uh, as well as Latin American presence. Anybody who knows soccer knows Messi. Uh, certainly one of the great soccer players in the world of all time, but very, very popular right now. So the fact that they'd hire him and pay him endorsement dollars tells you something about uh, where they're going. Uh, Alibaba has launched its own uh, instant messaging service to compete with uh, WeChat. Uh, both companies are uh, buying uh, e-commerce sites hand over fist because they're both got ambitions in that space because they all feed together. Uh, and the issue for them, as it really is for anybody else, is how you monetize a customer. Well, once you've got somebody doing instant messaging, uh, then maybe you can also then move them over to your, your e-commerce site. Um, instant messaging is free in, in China and Tencent is doing everything it can to keep the basic account free uh, by adding little things like you now have to pay for emoticons. So the account is free, but emoticons cost you a little bit of money. Uh, so this is huge going on. And that's where, that's where the miss comes from. It comes from this competition. And if you look at that and say, okay, so then take that out to apply to other internet companies. Uh, and Tencent is, has a market cap at about the same size as Facebook. So we're not talking about a small company. If you look at this and go internationally, these guys are coming out there uh, to try to compete with other players. Uh, you're looking at, at uh, continued, uh, sort of a ramping up, in fact, of competitive efforts uh, so that Facebook and, and LinkedIn and all of those companies are going to have to, and Twitter, are going to have to buy other companies to try to monetize this, try to defend market share. Uh, this is going to be a dog-eat-dog -dog, uh, environment for well, the discernible future. Uh, and maybe the model to look at here is not the Google model, because Google actually makes money, but the Amazon model, where all we care about for a while is revenue, and we hope that someday uh, earnings will follow. This is Jim Jubeck for Jubeck Asset Management Video.